Blue Fox was originally another agent. Another CISO agent. Working with Captain Canuck. Yeah, who turned out to be, uh, he was a traitor. And in fact, uh, Richard hasn't seen it yet. Um, I really haven't. So, uh -oh. I mean, if you want, we can do this little reveal, hopefully get some very fresh feedback right from the creator himself. So, I guess without any further ado, okay. Calvary, why don't you go ahead. Okay, we're ready. Now, we're going to reveal the blue fox. Okay, a female blue fox. Yeah, she's a girl. We've got our, our arch villain, we've got our, our plenty of testosterone flying around. We are turning all your characters into girls. I like the design. We're going to make very everyone much. a girl. Yeah. That's, that's the mandate. <laughs> everyone except the captain. <laughs> all right. We thought this would be a little more fun to play with. And you've got a bit of the fox look. It looks very unique. It really sets it apart from your typical comic book character, in my opinion. Oh, thank you very much. So. Now, is that a sword? That is a sword. Okay, so is this kind of ninja style? Sort of a sci-fi ninja element, which of course brought in the question of Asian and then running with the fox thing. There's a lot of fox imagery in Asian, particularly Japanese mythology, as the fox is a trickster spirit. Sometimes it's on your side, sometimes it's not, never quite to be trusted. So I looked at um, Asian kitsune masks, and there's a certain way they're painted with the ears and the eyes and the shapes. The blue stripes that run down her body and the shoulder pads are also just uh, repetitions of those motifs. It's good. We like it. Thanks, man. <laughs> we like it. There you go. Good.